Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to make myself a couple of candles for my Yuko lantern and probably everybody in the survival and bushcraft scene knows about this lantern. Um, so it has a very basic design which can collapse and then at the inside you have this base with a spring, you have a candle and this um, aluminium housing. This is where the candle goes. Then you have this plate which goes into here. The spring goes onto the plate. And this is um, the base layer and the housing together with the candle. And the spring is constantly pressing the candle upwards. It constantly keeps the flame at this position and it doesn't burn down or anything. So the flame stays here. And that's a really brilliant design by the company Yuko and this is your lantern. So now inside you have a small glass as a windshield and you can hang this around your camp or inside of a tent. Some people even use this inside of their camp events uh, because this is giving off a little bit of heat. So this candle is going to give you about um, 20 lumens of light and a little bit of heat and I think it's a great concept uh, but there's a huge disadvantage when it comes to these lanterns I think that they are overpriced right now so I got this here for I think 35 euros which is really expensive and the candles are really really expensive so if you want to buy a candle right now in Austria it costs 2 euros and 37 cents and that's crazy. That's really, really expensive. So I decided, okay, I go for this expensive product, but I want to make the candles myself because, um, yeah, I have some wax at home that I can use and why not do it yourself? It's going to be much, much cheaper than buying the candles. Okay, so here I got my wax that I bought a couple of years ago and this is pure uh, paraffin wax. And now comes the tricky thing. So this candle fits in here almost perfectly, but of course it's a little bit smaller than the housing. And the housing, the diameter at the inside is about 33 millimeters. And if I measure the candle, it says three centimeters. So the housing is three millimeters bigger than the candle. So now I need to find a mold, a form, which has about the same size as this candle here. So the last time I went into the hardware store, I found some pipes for a siphon, uh, which are one and one fourth of an inch or 32 millimeters in thickness. Also, I have found a couple of these metal pipes and they seem to be a little bit bigger at the inside, about one millimeter bigger than the plastic pipes. So now let's see if this candle fits inside. Yeah, this fits inside perfectly. Look at that. Now let's check the other pipes here, the plastic ones. Mm -hmm. The candle does not fit in here anymore. So these metal pipes, they have the perfect size. All right, so now for my cut off pipes, I have found a cap, but it's not precisely fitting. So I will have to wrap the pipes in uh, electrical tape or something similar to make a snug fit. And then I can insert the caps into here like so. And this is going to hold the pipes um, so that I don't knock over the pipes accidentally. Also, I have found this um, rubber seal and this fits perfectly over the cap and into the hole. So now this is not wiggling anymore, 
but unfortunately I only have like one of those seals so I have to get more of those uh, rubber seals here but for now this is going to work like this as well all right I got all of my pipes wrapped in electrical tape and now I want to test out if they have a good friction perfect okay so now let's um, measure the weight of the candle 49 50 grams okay 50 grams Okay, I'm using 320 grams, just to be safe. And today I want to try out my new folding stove by the company Koglans. All right, my fondue cooker. Um, is inside of the Koglenz folding stove and now we are slowly melting down the wax and actually I really like fondue cookers because you can easily adjust uh, the heat of the burner let's open up all of the holes so yeah I really like it and it's very safe oh yeah next uh, we need to prepare our wicks and a couple of years ago I bought these wigs on Amazon and today I want to use them but there's actually no need to buy store-bought wigs you can also make your wigs with um, a little bit of cotton string but because I have these already at home today I want to use them I have a couple of these uh, double-sided sticky things and I want to put that right in the middle of the cap all right so I have my double-sided tape in here and now I'm taking my wicks and just glue them onto the tape Okay, let's go. This is some really hard wax here, so I don't want to mess it up. I just fill in a little bit first. It's 10 minutes later again and some of my candles are getting holes so yeah now I've decided to remelt the wax which is in the bottom of the can and I will top off the candles okay guys so here we are the candles have cooled down I actually have taken them outside of the house uh, to cool them off quicker so now let's see if we can if we can get out the candles mm -hmm. wow awesome let's see if I can push out the candle yeah it's working <sighs> okay there was something inside of the pipe some kind of residue look at that it's almost perfect we still have to trim down the edge here and the wick and then it's ready to go
Okay, finally. <laughs> so it wasn't too easy to get out because it was still soft. But yeah, this is it. This is the candle. And you can see it's kind of molding um, towards the hole here. Okay, all of the candles have big holes again. So I'm going to have to top off the candles again with the rest of the wax. Okay, the second patch is done. Oh, look at that. <laughs> awesome. Really awesome candle. All right, so now let's do a weight comparison. This was the first batch and the candle has 46 grams. So we are missing four grams. And the second candle has 52. So with the second batch, I tipped off the candles two times. So this feels a little bit heavier and also it does not have any holes anymore. This one still has a hole, which goes down to the middle. So it's really important that you top off your candles once they are somewhat um, cool. And the original candle has exactly 50 grams. So that's our aim. And this just barely fits into the um, aluminum housing. Okay, but it fits and it's perfect. Okay, next I would like to make myself some beeswax candles. Whoa! Now the beeswax was actually a little bit more expensive. Uh, it cost me 20.9 euros per kilogram. Um, I think I did not get the best uh, price, so maybe you can find a better price. So now let's calculate what one candle costs me with the beeswax. So we have 20.9 euros divided by 1000 grams times 50 grams per candle. So one uh, beeswax candle is costing me one euro. Now, if you go on Amazon right now, five beeswax candles cost 32 euros. 32 euros divided by five candles um, is six euros 40 per candle. That's crazy. So I'm making my candles for one euro. And if you buy them, it's six euros 40. That's so crazy. Also here it's saying that the beeswax candle have a longer uh, live so this should go for 12 hours varies um, the paraffin wax candle only burns for nine hours so the beeswax is definitely more dense than the paraffin wax and also it has a higher melting point so if you take a look here you can see that beeswax is melting at a temperature between 60 and 65 uh, degrees celsius As you can see, we are having some holes forming again, so it's time to pour in more wax. That's nice. Wow. Look at this. Isn't this the perfect candle? Oh my God. Now there's still a little bit of white on the candle because that's the residue from the previous pour from the paraffin wax. But look at that. 
looks awesome. All right, guys, so this is how you can make your own Yuko candles. Uh, pretty much perfect. Um, has the same size as the original candle. And yeah, pretty awesome. This is how you can save a lot of money. And I really like making candles. It gives me a lot of joy and it's really great. And this system works awesome. So yeah, if you have um, one and one fourth inch pipes lying around, then you know that you can use them for making some candles for exactly this kind of uh, Yuko candle lantern. And I find the system is great. I really love um, how this is working with the housing and the spring. Uh, brilliant system, but also I have to say it's a little bit uh, expensive. And the candles are also expensive if you buy them. So I definitely would uh, not purchase them, but I would make them myself. Right, so this is it for today. I really want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. Till next time.